Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DC TV Elseworlds crossover. Today we're going to be breaking down the photos. Today's been a really busy day. There was Supergirl to review, there was a new trailer for Supergirl, there was a new Elseworlds trailer, there was the Flash 100th episode photos, which I'll be doing a video on tomorrow, and then now finally there's the Elseworlds photos that they dropped. So CW are having a blast dropping it, and it's not really helpful for me or anyone that does YouTube because it's so hard to actually space it out so a lot of these videos are going to be really close in proximity when they're uploaded I'm sorry for that if I'm overloading you guys with content but most of you guys have actually requested that I do this for today if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year so in these photos which is about f just over 15 photos or so we get some new looks at what's happening in the crossover some things that we were unaware of and now we have some answers so the first photo and I've skipped out a few of these photos because they're sort of just different versions of them and the first photo is of Cisco and he is sort of more like a gangster Cisco and I think maybe he's in charge of what's happening in these scenes to do with Barry and Oliver and they are in that get up that we talked about a while ago they are comic book characters and essentially they're playing the Elseworlds versions of themselves so it's not our Barry and Oliver and you get to see a sort of more gangster like looking James Olsen with Cisco in this bar and there's just various photos of them you know at the bar and just different versions of this one scene and then we go to a photo of Barry and Oliver it seems like they're in their normal clothes so maybe this is at the end of the crossover but the next photo is of Oliver in the flash suit so obviously by this time they've switched over and Oliver's got the powers of the flash Oliver is Barry in this photo and we get a really nice photo of the monitor looking extremely comic book accurate followed by a look at Batwoman this is just a different version of the photo we got the other day from EW she's sort of just praying like Batman would do or like Batwoman or Batgirl like all the family does sort of just maybe canvassing some sort of area that she's about to attack and one of my favorite photos is of Supergirl and this is just a really really nice photo I love how she's in the forefront and we don't get enough of these photos anymore like just some nice crisp photos that don't show much but just good photos and so we go to the lab of Dr. Destiny working at Arkham Asylum and this is like your 101 crazy scientist mad scientist lab and I'm so looking forward to him and then the next photo you get to see John Diggle as he's actually seemingly fighting in a prison break at what looks like Arkham Asylum one of my favorite photos is of Green Arrow and that is in fact Grant Gustin under there playing Oliver Queen and it's just a really really nice showcase of what our version of Barry who is now Oliver's actually going to look like in this suit in HD obviously and so we move over to the Smallville farm and it's the Kent farm obviously but it was used on Smallville and we see Kara and Clark as Kara meets Lois Lane and this is just some really really nice little moments that I think we're gonna treasure in this crossover and you can see everyone with Clark and like probably this is the first time that Barry, Oliver and Cisco have ever met Clark Kent Superman and obviously Lois Lane and then as we head towards the ending of these photos we see everyone in Star Labs it's, maybe this is after the crossover because it seems like they're sitting there for a reason and there's a brain scan in the background so maybe they're back to normal by then and the final photo is of Iris and that being played by Stephen Amell and this is the scene that we saw from the trailer so nothing new in that photo but it's just a nice showcase of what's going to be happening how the shock element is going to be played by Stephen Amell so that is it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more crossover videos please be sure to check out my trailer breakdown that I did earlier today that'll be linked that'll be linked in the description below so anyway guys I'll see you guys later goodbye